In this video, you will notice that you have been trading one hour time frame wrong. If you want to be a trader and you want to be using lower time frame, I believe this video is for you. This is lesson 88, guys. You're almost hitting lesson 100. And the best thing is that at least I've been consistent to teach you for two good months because that's what the Holy Spirit told me. To teach people here for free, a hundred lesson and then he'll tell me the next step to take. So if you've been trading lower time frame, I believe, I believe you need to watch this video carefully and to know where you go wrong. Because let me tell you, there's money in any time frame. Don't be lied by people who say seeing trading is better than day trading, or those who, who say day trading is better uh, than scalping, or the scalper says scalping is better. Like you have to find your style. You have to find, you know, many people are different. There's someone who has a lot of free time. And you see, if you have a lot of free time, I believe you can fall under scalping because you can be in your laptop for many hours. But there's someone who is having other things. They're engaged somewhere. So getting enough time to trade on one hour, it is a problem. So as you watch this video, even if you are... Uh, even if you love swing trading or day trading, this video can help you because... Um, Knowing how to trade lower time frame will just increase your knowledge. So the first thing that you need to do, because I have to give you rules. You know, many people do what they want to trade lower time frame and they don't want they don't want the rules. Number one, analysis. You do them using daily time frame. Analysis use daily time frame. So even if even if I will use uh I will use I'll be using one hour to get my entry. Trust me, if your analysis use daily time frame, like your overall, you want to know what the market is doing. You just want to, to understand what is the market doing. So analysis using daily time frame. And then the second analysis, number one. So we are using analysis, we use daily time frame. And then number two, make sure, make sure. Four hour has no pattern. Make sure four hour has no pattern. Like that is so simple, guys. You don't know what uh, this point means. You don't even know the weight of this point. You can analyze daily time frame and then jump to one hour and you still mess things up. Why? Because you have left a double top or a double bottom on four hour. So you go to one hour and find a double top and still it's available on four hour. It will give you an early entry on one hour and it will message your entry on higher time frame. Guys, I cannot emphasize this enough. And I think we will do an example of what I'm trying to tell you. There are times where someone will analyze daily and they know for sure the market is going to sell. So they are looking for sell opportunity. But as they are looking for sale opportunity, they assume that four hour, they assume four hour pattern does not make sense. So they come out from daily and head straight to one hour. That one will mess you up, guys. So the first rule is you analyze your, your you analyze, you take any pair, analyze it from daily time frame, analyze it, analyze everything, get a conclusion of what do I want the market? Like the market is a sale and you are, have concluded. Then after that, you go to four hour and make sure there's no pattern on four hour. Number three, number three, the only thing that I want to encourage you to trade on one hour, only trade two patterns. Trade two patterns. And what is the two patterns? A double top B B is double bottom so uh, don't go to two to one of us and start to trade BOS I don't know what double bottom because understand as time frame reduces, the support and the resistance become weak. So if you go, to, if you flip on one hour and you find the market, you, you say, 
I'm waiting for this support to be broken to enter. The market can break that support and still go up. Why? Because on lower time frame, the support and resistance, they are weak. You cannot compare one hour resistance or support with a daily support and resistance. So I think the mistake that you have been doing, you have been drawing your support and resistance, waiting it for break, waiting it for retrace, and that market does not give you perfect uh, perfect setups. So it ends up blowing your account because you checked from one hour time frame. So yes, we don't want to assume that one hour time frame is good. We do not want to, to assume. But as you're trading, and there are only three rules, I don't want to give you so many rules. These three rules can cover you to a point that you can be able to spot. And let me tell you, when you spot this, um, when you spot the only trade to, you only trade two patterns. When you spot a double top and a double bottom, the criteria for this double top should not be available, should not be available on two hours, three hours, four hours, daily, weekly, monthly. So if you can bring evidence that yes, I have gotten, I have got my, I have got my double top or double bottom on one hour, the next thing that you should convince yourself, the same double top or the same double bottom that I'm finding clear on one hour, it is not on two hours, it is not on three hours, it's not on four hours, it's not on daily, it's not on weekly, it's not on monthly. Why? Because if you fail this point, I know there are so many people who see a double top on one hour, they trade it and it goes well, but they attempt to trade it again and it blows their account. Why? You are attempting to trade a double top on, on one hour that was still available on two hours, on three hours, on four hours. Like how? Now, this is what I mean. I think we will put the rules here. I won't delete. And then we'll start from rule one. Pay attention because this video will help you. I think these are the ones, the videos that you will watch, apply, and get results immediately. So first of all, I want you to like this video. Make sure you like, give it a big thumbs up, and then comment down below if you have ever traded one hour and which strategy were you using? Which pattern were you using? Do you have rules? Have you ever had rules when you're trading one hour time frame? And try out these rules and come back to this video and comment. After using this strategy, the one hour, and this one, it's it's called OPT on one hour because it's one pattern on one time frame. So it's, at the end of the day, it's an OPT strategy. So you will say, I used OPT on one hour and this and this happened. So I would want to hear your review. So the first thing we want to analyze, daily time frame. So we are on our daily. So this is our chart. So. For me, you have to understand that I work in two days. I work with patterns. So yes, the market is coming down, but my question I need to ask myself, where is the market coming? Where is the market coming from? So when I ask myself where the market is coming from, I will see this double top. Can you see guys? I'll see this double top because yes, the market is dropping, but I will see this double top. So this double top, this is a double top I will see and I will mark it like this. And you see, this double top is very clear. So I will come and measure half of that double top, measure half of that double top, and you will notice the half has been broken. Can you see? Half has been broken. So automatically, according to WBB strategy, if half is broken, it goes to the neckline. But before I even I put a sell, you see, daily analysis, they are pushing me towards a what? A sell. Daily analysis are very clear. I, I, I have come to realize market is a sell. The only mistake, guys, you can do, the only mistake, guys, you can do is to flip from daily and go directly on one hour and start to try to enter the trade and start saying, by the way, 
this market is making high highs and high lows. I can see there was a low low and a low high. The market low low and low high. Even when I see the presence of buyers, the buyers are weak. And you start to jump to conclusion, you start to jump to conclusion, and you're saying that the market, the sellers have either they have broken that support. And that's what I'm, I'm saying. When you jump from daily to one hour, already you have prevented yourself from the, doing what? This sounds, this, this, this thing, already you have limited yourself. Why? You don't know what is happening. And you know many people, when they see this drop on one hour, they are thinking to sell up to the neckline. They are thinking to sell up to the neckline. And the other thing that people don't understand is that when you have such a setup, the only way I need to sell is using a pattern. So I need to sell according to daily, but when I flip, the pattern that I have is a double bottom that is not giving me a sell opportunity. And people ignore this. So you want to sell, but the pattern that is in question is a double bottom. It's not a double top. And that's why, guys, I'm telling you, there is a lot of confusion if you move from daily, because daily for you was a very good sell that has broken neckline. Now you wanted an entry and you want to go to one hour. So doing that is bad. So the first thing we already know we want to sell, and that's why we have done analysis using the daily time frame. Number two, what do we need? We need to go to what? To four hour. So as long as four hour has no pattern, we are good to go. We can go ahead and sell. So we go to four hour and immediately I flip my chart on four hour and I try to zoom. I see the same pattern. Can you see? So the rule of four hour, the reason why even I'm coming to four hour, I'm not coming to analyze guys. I have done my analysis on the daily time frame. The only time, the only thing that is bringing me on four hour is to make sure there's no pattern. Because if four hour has a pattern, it means that pattern, it, may, it might be obeyed. So I come to four hour and guess what? I find a pattern and I'm thinking I have a double bottom. So I'm wondering, yes, the market dropped very well. And you can see these are many pips. This market um, has dropped 279 pips nonstop. So the market dropping 279 automatically means what? Sellers are very strong and sellers are pushing this market down. But there's an obstacle, which is a support zone that has created a what? A possible double bottom. So you have first to deal with this. Like It's like the way you're on a journey and you find some guards on the way. You have to deal with these guards on an obstacle before you continue with your journey because yes, the journey will continue. We are not refusing. The journey will continue, but how the journey continues will depend on how you will solve this case. If you don't solve it well, the journey might reverse on you. And what you are calling a double top on daily will reverse and the market will buy. So by the time the market is buying like this, you're wondering, oh, by the way, what did I do wrong? I had a double top on, on daily. What happened? The market was selling. Why is it buying? It's because your obstacle was so strong. The obstacle was very, very strong. So we need first to understand is how is this double bottom? Because there are two ways a double bottom can be. There's a double bottom that is very strong and there's a double bottom that is not strong. It's weak. A double bottom that is very strong, it is only on one time frame, like four hours. If it is very weak, it is appears on multiple time frames. So when I go to the daily time frame, this double bottom, I want you to see clearly, it was not on the daily. Meaning what? That double bottom, that obstacle, the guards have, have guns. Eh? The obstacle, whoever you are trying to fight has a gun already. So you need to be very careful because anytime he can fire the gun and you can, <laughs> you can perish. So for me, what I really want for you guys to understand is that do not take these things for granted. For me, when I saw this double bottom, I was like, oh my goodness, this is a double bottom that I can trade. 
And you see, I want to trade it because it's very strong double bottom. So let me first focus on the double bottom before I focus on one hour. So there are times you really want to trade one hour, but you get to stop at four hour. So sometimes I even, and I even want to tell people, you are not the one who says you want to trade one hour. The market will tell you. So the market will tell you what you want to trade. So the minute I put my half on that uh, double, uh, double bottom and I put my neckline, I can observe where, very well and I can notice we do not have an RBS on this trade. Anytime the market does not have RBS, it means the journey will come up to the half and that is it. Some obey, but 95% of the trades are the ones that obey. Only 5% are the ones that don't have RBS and still continue up. So no RBS, of course, it prepares me to know my first entry for what? For the sell that I want. But you see, I don't want just to put a sell. I want, if I will sell according to daily time frame, one hour has to agree. One hour has to agree. And that's why we are saying only trade these two pattern on one hour. And the only pattern that can make me to sell is which pattern? A double top. A double top is the only pattern that can make you to sell. So if the daily is telling you to sell and four is telling you a double bottom to buy, you need, and you see the, the area that the market can come to, it can create another double top so that daily and one hour can speak the same language. So you are now focused, you don't flip because even if you flip one hour, this is what happens. The double bottom that you're seeing on four hour is still available on the one hour. And this is what I was telling you guys. Should not, the double top and the double bottom should not be available on two hours, three hours, four hours, daily, weekly, monthly. So if you're telling me oh, you are on one hour time frame, oh, I'm trading a double bottom. My first question I will ask you, Make sure that double bottom is not on two hours. So let's go to two hours and see. So you go to two hours, you can see that double bottom carefully. So when you start seeing the double bottom is still on two hours, that double bottom, you can't trade it on two hours. You see, when I go to three hours, there's still there's a double bottom on three hours. And this makes, you cannot stay on three hours and trade it, why? Because on two hours, because it's available on three hours. So do I want to trade it on three hours? And when I say trade it, do I want my CRB, current resistance break, to be observed using the hour? So I go to four hour time frame and I still find my double bottom there. So meaning from one hour, two hour, three hour, four hour, the double bottom is there. So for the only way I will stick to four hour to trade it if it's not available on the daily. And this is what happened. When you come to the daily time frame, the double bottom was not there. Can you see? the double bottom was not there. That is the double bottom. It was not there. That is our double bottom. So because the daily has no double bottom, what happens? What happens? So when the market, when the market, the, the double bottom is not there, it means, it means now my, my CRB is coming from four hour. And that's what you have to make sure will happen. So yes, we want to trade one hour, but whatever is limiting us, if you understand, whatever has limited us to go to one hour is the fact that one hour has that double bottom and still four hour has that double bottom. It will not make sense for me to wait for CRB because you can see CRB has already been given out. So I'll be waiting for the market to do what? I'll be waiting for the market to break here and this is what many people do. So they wait for a green candle to break and they say, oh, I've gotten an entry. Not knowing there is nothing like a resistance. You see this resistance that you're seeing here, there is nothing resistance on four hour. So you, you are saying, oh, I have gotten an entry and you can be in trouble. So one, once it can work, but it is not a consistent way to trade. So because now we are waiting for CRB on four hour, Let's wait and see, did we get the CRB? So we got a green candle and the market continues. You can see there was no CRB. 
there's no resistance uh, breaking and the market has done what is approaching our half. So you can see, even when we, we have gotten our CRB here, it is very close. Can you see? Our current resistance is very close to our half. So we are waiting for half to be broken. Can you see what has happened? So half has been broken, half has been broken, and the market has come to this area. All along, we were never given an opportunity to buy. And when the market comes to your half, not what we had, we were looking for a double top, on one hour and this is your chance guys to shine now so if you want now to look for double top you have a very good opportunity to look for a double top because if i look on four hour this is what i see yes the market is telling and and this is what they do when daily told you to sell four hour told you to buy now when four hour is telling you to buy think twice the market makers and they are telling you buy always smell rats always smell danger why is my why are the bankers supporting uh, the, everything that i wanted why are they giving me my wish back i really wanted to buy this market for one day so since wednesday and thursday i've been wanting to buy for two days and now they are telling me go ahead and buy and if i check very well yes half has broken everything has broken i can buy this market back i can buy it up to there but the question is have you checked other time frames if they are supporting your buy so what i do because on the daily analysis and that's why i am insisting you have not forgotten daily analysis you had a double top that had broken half so you're wondering why did half break and the market never sold? It's because it activated a new pattern. And now the same pattern has broken half. So you have to ask yourself, what if daily had a double top, broken half, and the market, instead of selling, it bought. Now, four hour has a double bottom, broken half. The same pattern will repeat itself. You know, the market, what they do, they keep repeating themselves. So they will keep repeating, repeating, repeating. So it's you to find out why are they repeating this setup? So that as they repeat, you might get the data out of it. So number one thing, I'm cautious. Why? Double, this is what happens, guys. We had a double top on daily. I want to show you. So we had a very cool double top on the daily that had broken half. So I know there are people who are not understanding what I mean. So this double top, the market broke up with a very red candle. So the market broke up. That's where our analysis were. So we had this double top that broke half. And you see, according to WBB strategy, if the market breaks half, where is it headed to? It is headed to the neckline. So we knew this market, the next agenda is coming to the neck. So this was our daily time frame, and it is our overall analysis time frame. So this is the daily chart. So what we were trying to do on four hour, we were trying to find there is no pattern on four hour. So where the market reached, you see where the market reached? On your left, on your left. So the market has broken, you can see it has broken it has broken this half so this is this is um 4 hour now if we go to 4 hour we can see clearly half has been broken with a red candle this is our half that has been broken put it red but for our what it has done on the left side, on the left side, you see this market when it was going up, this market had a something like this. When it was going up, it first went down on four hour. But you can't see, what you cannot see, you can't see this, you cannot see this support on the daily, but you can see that red candle on four hour. And that's how they blind you guys. So there's that support on four hour. And also always remember, 
a red candle is a support when there is a green candle. So a support happens when a red candle is followed by a green candle. So yes, daily half has been broken, but at that same time, they have activated a new pattern and that is the double bottom. That's exactly what happened, guys. I am drawing this for you to understand what I mean. Now, this double bottom, if we, if we check it very well, our half is around here. This is where our half is. That is our half. And now again, the pattern has repeated itself. So what me, I understand in the market, the market keeps repeating. So the market comes and we can see a point of breaking with a green candle. So the market keeps repeating themselves because what happened on the daily chart, double top breaking half, it's exactly what has happened with a double bottom breaking half. I think, I hope now you have understood. So two patterns have been repeated, but in a different time frame and a different patterns. So one is a double top and the other one is a double bottom. But whatever the, it has happened, it's exactly the same thing. So when this one half has broken and we check to that distance, they will not give you a double top using the same time frame. Like here, we were never given a double bottom using the same, the same time frame. So we have to keep flipping back. Now, this one now is four hours and they do exactly for me. Uh, you see, when you have the seeing eye and you can see, these are some of the things I keep seeing in the chart and I'm thinking, oh my goodness, all along, the banks have been playing their cards well. So you can see what happens here is that the daily chart, when half was broken, they never used the double bottom on the daily. What they did, they made sure they have flipped to four hours. Now when four hour half has been broken, the double top won't be available on the, on the four hour. It will be on the higher time frame. Now the flip is, the higher time, the lower time frame, we will think of three hour. But when you go to three hour, there is no double top. When you go to two, two hours, there is no double top. And we keep going until we find double top. Mostly when a double top wants to be hidden from four hours, they take it to one hour. And that's why this video, I want to teach you how to trade one hour. So you can see the same thing, half is broken. And you, for you, you're thinking, oh, they will just activate this double top my take profit will be there. This double top, they have to activate. You're thinking because half is broken, I think the next candle, they'll come to activate what? That double top. You can see clear, they cannot, they have not activated. So we flip. So there is no double top on four hour because it has not been activated. So I flip on three hours to still check if there's, do, there's a double top. You can see there's no other double top that has been activated on three hours. I continue checking on two hours so that I can rest on four hours and we wait. On two hours, there is nothing. You can see we don't have any resistance. It's just after green, red, when the resistance you're waiting on four hours is red, red, red. If I still go to one hour and there's nothing, I will flip back to four hours. And this is where I tell guys, let's wait for activation. Let's wait for activation. But many people miss one hour and they don't know Yes, you have gone to two hours, there's no activation. But when I flip to one hour, what happens? Yes, it has not activated the main one on four hour, but, and I'm saying, but, now let me remove this and I show you there's a double top hidden on one hour. So there's a double top hidden on one hour and this is it. Can you see it? There's a double top hidden on one hour and we have activated it. All along, we were not seeing on two hours. So I highlight like this, and I highlight like this. Note, daily was telling me to sell. Now one hour is telling me to sell. The only thing now is remaining for this sell is to make sure that it's not on any other time frame. It is not on the three hour, two hour, four hour, daily, weekly, like there's nothing. So I will come, this should be my neckline, Guys, can you check my neckline? That should be my neckline. And then this should be my half. So I have to get my half like this. 
So in this case, I am confident that I can now trade CSB current support break because according to daily, note, if you never went to daily analysis, you will never be taken to sell. You are looking for buyers because you started from the double bottom on the, on the four hour. In fact, when you see this sell, you'll be, you will you will think, why is this sell? Why are they selling? The market should buy like four hour. So the first thing I notice we have RBS here. So when we have the RBS, it is easier. Remember, on the four hour double bottom, we didn't have RBS. So the double top have RBS, meaning this market is gonna go down. So I just need to use CSB current support break. But before now we wait for current support break, let's go to two hours to look if there's a double top there. So if I go to two hours, can I see a double top? There's no, because the double top on two hour is activated if it hits that line and it is not. And they put it so close so that you can be blinded. So for you, you will say, oh, even on two hours, there's a double top. There is no double top. You can see the double top. If this candle ex, uh, comes uh, back to 92, uh, 31, that's when they will touch the double top. If I go to three hours, notice no activation of double top. So the double top that is on only one hour, it's very unique. If I go to four hour, here is where I have a double top on one hour. And if I go to the daily time frame, there is no double top because I do not have anything here. So at the end of the day, that's how you get to trade one hour. You have to understand, you do not wake up one day and say, today I will trade one hour. It can be very difficult. You just need to understand how to maneuver the patterns and how to start as long as four hour and three hour and two hour has a double top or double bottom, you can never trade one hour. If that gets in you, it will be easier to trade. So we are waiting for current resistance current support and the market starts to drop and we get our green candle. So we have current support. So we are waiting for this market to do what? To break so that you can sell. Notice we are selling according to, to daily because the half was broken. So let's continue. So we are waiting for current support to break. As you wait, we have a green and a red. So if another green comes, we have a current support. So you can see the market is attempting to break that current support and it's not able. So what we do, we adjust our current support like that. So the market continues. So at this time, we do not have a current support. We don't have a current support. So you will wait until you get your current support. So the market is like, it is ranging on one area. So you get, so we take it back. So this is our new current support. So we are waiting for the market to break that zone. So they are almost breaking and that's what happens, guys. So as you are waiting for your, for your current support, the market fails to break your current support and this will happen a lot. Let me tell you guys, if you think this trade is easy and you enter sell because, oh, let me just enter sell because I know it will sell, you're now becoming biased. Why? It is a potential market to become a cap and handle. So by the time you're seeing a double top on one hour that is not on any other time frame, you have to go with the rules. The rules are the ones that will be guiding you. Why? Because you cannot bypass the rules. The rule says, I will enter with current support. So I want to show you that so many other times the market will go even to half without you and then the market does what you are waiting and the market breaks half so when the market now breaks half it, you are waiting for it to create a double bottom to do what the only thing you do you enter your straight short position short position and you are waiting for the market to hit that is 71 pips. You put another sell order uh, around that area. Stop loss, use ATR for your stop loss. Now what you do, don't be blinded by this double bottom, possible double bottom. You will sell until 
it gives you a CRB. Like I will be on this trade until a resistance is created and if it breaks up, I will cancel my sell and enter. So these are called scares in the market. When the market knows it wants to sell, they put these scares for you. Because any time the banks want to use a double bottom, they don't use it in the same time frame. They will hide it. Because if they want to use this double bottom, they don't just put it out, out there openly. And that's something you need to understand. Anytime you find a double, a double bot top and then a double bottom, it's always a trap. And I'll show you with GBPSD after I finish. So when you see a double top and then the same time frame, a double bottom, it's always, a, you're just being distracted. For me, I can say you're just being distracted so that you can feel fear and say you will not sell, you will not sell because it can be, it can buy. So you say, I will sell and, and I'll keep looking. If this, the buyers come in, I will cancel the trade and buy. So let's see how this trade played out. So the market first, it broke that. The, the, the double bottom that you are afraid it was broken. It was broken and the market retested the half and let's see what happens. The market goes like that, ranges, ranges. So all along they are thinking, you see, you cannot have a pattern. And you see many people have fear because they are thinking, what if they come back here? So you keep building fears and building worries. You just be on the sell unless they have activated a pattern even if this market is going up as long as it doesn't have a pattern it should not scare you you see so the market starts to go down and go down and hit our take profit can you see the take profit has been hit the take profit guys has been hit and this was a very 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 simple trade very very simple trade so the question is will this market continue will it continue to the half that is the question because they are, are supposed to come to the neckline on the daily so the question is will the market come to this half and it's the half is 89.53 so you need again you need again to do new analysis because you have to wait for the neckline to be broken and if the neckline is broken you wait and use use bw strategy but the bw strategy is what i use if neckline uh is broken and that strategy i teach it in the mentorship program so the only thing i wanted to tell you is how the bank market makers use these patterns to manipulate us so if you are I have always wanted to trade one hour. I believe you're not the one who will say, today I'm trading one hour. No. Circumstances bring you to one hour. They will bring you to one hour. So that once your tip is hit, you'll start the cycle again. So when you go to, when, when the market is at the daily like that, can you see? So this is four hour. And this is our daily time frame. So the market is back at where it is. So if I'm told to analyze, notice I can never remain on one hour. And this is a mistake people do. <laughs> they will start analyzing one hour. So we have gotten an entry up to half because we are trading this double top. But we still have to come to daily and do new analysis, delete everything, and start afresh. And when I start afresh, guys, guess what I get? I get a double bottom on the same daily activation. So as I get that same double bottom, there is no way I'm looking for sale unless a red candle breaks with a body. So when I flip this trade, the market went up. Why do you think the market went up like this? It's because already there was this trigger of a double bottom. So if that is a trigger of a double bottom, I need, before I go to four hour and one hour, first I need to know what is daily telling me. So if daily breaks here, now I can flip to four hour, then one hour. And that's how you trade guys. So many people will be stuck with this 
let me show you where people are stuck. They will be stuck with this double top. And most of the time, it broke the half. So they will be stuck with this double top. And because it broke half, can you see? So you are saying the half was broken. I know the market will sell. The question is, as half was being broken, that's a double top. As half was being broken, what was happening on the daily? There was no breaking. So there was a new pattern created on the daily. So again, someone will say, oh, I want to trade. On one hour, I have spotted a double top. And this is what another mistake people do. I have spotted a double top. The question is, is this double top on two hours? Is this double top on three hours? Because if it's on two hours, you have no business to do with it on one hour. So if I flip on two hours, this is a current market. It's still on two hours. Can you see? So the double top that you're seeing is still on two hours. Very, very visible on two hours. If I go to three hours, the double top that we are seeing is still on three hours. So the minute you start trading it using one hour time frame, you're already in error. Why? Because you are violating the rules. So if I can if I can analyze this double top, and this is current market on GBPAUD. If I can analyze this market, what I'm trying to see is that the market has a potential of selling. This market has a potential of selling. Now the question is, is it on four hour? Can you see it's still on four hour? So what we said, you cannot trade on one hour if you have a pattern on four hour, if you have a pattern on three hour, if you have a pattern on two hours, you only trade on one hour when there is no pattern. And the question is, is it on the daily? Do you think this pattern is on the daily? It's not on the daily. So at the end of the day, we start again. We will start again trading using four hour. So if you want to trade GBPLD, you have to come back here and say, by the way, I want to trade using four hour. How do I trade this? How do I treat this? So this is my this is my half. I will wait for the current resistance and you begin there. I will wait for current resistance so that if it breaks here, I trade it. Or you can say, I will wait for this market to break this area so that now I can trade this double top all the way down. So there are many ways to trade it, but your analysis are coming from where? From the daily. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you have learned something and I hope you will implement it in your trading uh, trading setups. All the best. Love you. Bye-bye.